What you guys got another video here for you now a common question is how to know what devices are connected to your home network how many devices are connected to your home network and what's their ip addresses so i'm going to show you all that in this video so first off what we're going to do is go down to the search box and open up the command prompt by typing cmd now run this as administrator and open up the command prompt box now what we need to do here is type in a command called net space view and this will show you all the devices that are connected to your uh, home network basically and you can see here there's a, a three of them there which I've got connected at the moment now if you've got devices turned off they won't be visible now if you want to get the IP addresses and all of the MAC addresses for these um, devices that are connected to your network then you can type this command ARP space dash a and push enter and this will give you all the ip addresses and all the mac addresses for those devices that are connected uh, to your network and you can see here they're all listed now if you want to find out what items are what you can obviously uh, do a ping on that um, ip address and i'll show you that in a second and it will give you the information for that ip so you can find out what actual device uh, that ip belongs to and this can be very useful when you're troubleshooting and also when you're trying to find IP addresses and MAC addresses for certain devices that are connected to your home network. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and type ping and then space and then we're going to do dash A and then space and then choose the IP address of the item which you want to find. So basically I'm just going to type in here 192.168.1 dot three and you can see it's pinging my cloud uh, dash H C T D C I think that is and uh, basically that is my uh, Western digital uh, cloud storage in the home so you can see here it's done uh, four pings on that and it's all replied back and we've got a time which is um, a time to live you can see equals 64 and you can also see the milliseconds there two milliseconds and it gives you a bunch of other information now some routers will allow you to see all of the devices that are connected to your home network and I'll show you my one here it's the Netgear Duma OS which is the operating system for that uh, uh, Netgear you can see there's a ton of stuff that is being plugged on to the network and it then registers that piece of uh, hardware but some of them are offline and some of them are online and it gives you the idea of what it is. I can click on these and it will give me more information. You can see here one of them is online which is that uh, MyCloud and there's a bunch of other stuff which is unnamed. I can rename all these and give them their own personal names if I wish. Now another third party piece of software you can use to detect all of this stuff on your home network is this piece of software here. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. It's a very good piece of software and that you can download it for free and run it on your system and this is another piece of software which will allow you uh, to detect all of the uh, devices that are on your home network so let's go ahead and uh, run this as a portable version without no installation and uh, we're going to go and accept the agreement and uh, we're going to click on run here and this will go ahead and install the advanced IP scanner once we've got it open here, what we can do here is click on scan. So we're going to hit scan and let that run. And this will give us all the status and the name, the IP, the manufacturer, and also the MAC address of that particular piece of uh, hardware, which is connected to the network. And you can see here it's detected a load of other stuff here, which is your Netgear, which is my router and a TV and a bunch of other stuff, which is connected on the home network. Now, of course, if the device is turned off, it's not going to detect uh, that particular device because it's not active, it's not on, okay? So it will need to be uh, turned on and uh, active, active on the network for it to be registered in here. So if I turned on a bunch of NAS drives and stuff like that, you'll see them all start lighting up. If I started connecting with my mobile phone, that will start uh, showing up and any sort of cameras, anything like that, it will show up there as well. So what we're going to do here is right click on my cloud here and you can explore and this will show you uh, the folder on the network here. You can see this is my public folder which I can share stuff with with other people. I can also right click on here as well with the software, go into tools and I can do a ping 
of that particular uh, IP address for that device and it will do the same thing and it will run a continuous ping for that to see whether there's any problems. I can see here that it's running smoothly and there's no problems at all. I can right click in here, go uh, to trace route if I want to or trace cert, as you can see there and do a trace route on that um, device on the network. You can see it's got maximum 30 ops there, gives you some information and I can do other things on here as well which is very useful uh, if you want to use this particular type of software to find devices very quickly. So you can see there's a bunch of other stuff on here which we're not going to cover in this video. This is just basically to show you how to detect devices on your home network. Now there is a couple of other things I wanted to show you which are useful, which are very useful pieces of software which you can use if you are um, looking for say wireless network watcher and stuff like that you can use the Neurosoft uh, software which is free to download and use and this does another great uh, service for t showing you all the IP addresses all the MAC addresses and all the uh, people that are connected on that network and if you're more advanced you might want to use something like Wireshark which is a very advanced uh, piece of software which you can use to monitor and manage all your home network which is a very good piece of software indeed. Now, obviously, if it's if you're the faint hearted, I would advise you to use the more simple stuff, but that is more advanced and it's a really good bit of software if you want to get into it. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.